guys, my name is Nikia Joy and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the most perfect, flawless, smooth, oil-proof, shine-proof and budge-proof foundation. I've got quite a few tricks up my sleeve on how to really lock your foundation in and just really make sure that it's budge proof and it doesn't go anywhere during the day and I'm going to be sharing those tips with you in today's video and I'm also so excited that this guy the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder is finally available here in Australia. So yes if you guys want to learn how to achieve the perfect full coverage flawless oil free smooth budge proof base try saying that 10 times over you won't be able to <laughs> then please keep on watching. All right step number one in creating the most perfect budge proof shine proof life proof base is to start out with a primer. Um, a lot of people sometimes do forget to use a primer but let me tell you it is 100% essential if you are really wanting your foundation to really stay put all day. I'm going to be using the pore minimizing primer from the Face Studio Prime range. I do have quite textured skin, um, it's a perfectly normal thing and pore minimizing or blurring primers like these are an amazing way to really smooth out the texture and create a really perfect canvas for your foundation to go on top of. So I'm just taking a little bit of that primer and what I'm actually going to be doing is sort of warming it up between my fingers. Again, a lot of people think that you sort of just need to go in and really, really rub the skin, but it's actually really important to press your primer into your skin rather than rubbing. Because when you are rubbing the skin sort of in this kind of emotion, you're actually causing friction. And what that is gonna do is exfoliate the skin. And if you exfoliate your skin, guess what's gonna happen? Your foundation's gonna look more textured. All right, so now that we're all primed, we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna be using the Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. If there was one foundation out there that I could marry, honestly, it would be this one. I've talked about this foundation so many times now. It's a really, really nice full coverage foundation and it does all of that without being heavy or cakey on the skin. Like it just feels beautiful and fresh throughout the entire day. I am obsessed. All right, so I've got a few pumps of that foundation on the back of my hand and I'm actually gonna be going in with a damp sponge. For me, applying foundation with a sponge is again, one of the best ways you can get it to last for absolutely as long as possible and also look as smooth as possible. What the action of the sponge does is it really pushes that product into the skin and it creates like this perfect like airbrush finish. Like it just makes it look so smooth. And as always, when we are matching our foundation shade, we wanna be matching the neck, the chest and any exposed skin. Don't try to match your foundation to the color of your skin on your face because you know, if you're like me, you wear a lot of makeup, doesn't see the sun much. <laughs> so you can see as I'm applying this foundation, like how ridiculous is the coverage? And how smooth does it look on the skin? Like, it's kind of like Photoshop in a bottle, which I'm not mad about. <laughs> if you've got dark under eye circles or blemishes or, you know, anything like that, now is the time to go in with a concealer. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Again, this is another one of my holy grail concealers. I just think it's so creamy and beautiful. I'm going to pop a little of this one underneath my eyes. Because I need to hide those late nights that I've been having. And I do also like to put a little bit of my concealer on my chin and also a tiny little bit kind of between the brows. You'll notice too that I'm using a concealer in a slightly lighter shade than my foundation shade. This helps to really lift and sculpt the face. So going back in with the sponge, I'm just gently blending that out and kind of melting it into the skin. It just disappears so well, look at that. Okay, so now that the concealer is all blended in, it's time to set. And in my opinion, honestly, the very most important step in your foundation or base routine, like this is what really locks in the makeup and will hold it there all day long and help to prevent that shine. And I cannot begin to express how excited I am that the Fit Me Loose Powder is finally available in Australia. Hallelujah. <laughs> so this one is currently available exclusive in Priceline stores and it will be available in other pharmacies and also online as of January. It was an absolute smash hit overseas, like it is totally a cult favorite. So I'm so excited that it's finally available here. I've been harping on about this powder for such a long time and you know obviously it wasn't available for sale here so I've been using it for I mean probably 12 months thereabouts it is so like you're about to see how good it is but trust me it is so good so this one's really special because it does control oil and shine throughout the day but it also helps to blur any texture on the skin and make your skin look even more perfect and you might be surprised or you might not be I'm going to be applying this with a sponge so you want your sponge to be damp and what I do is I have a little bit of product just sitting in the lid so this is just the lid that goes on top of the powder take my sponge and I'm gonna dip it into the powder don't pick up too much you only want a little bit and see that there and then what what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be rolling and pressing this into my skin. Now what this achieves is it really locks everything in super super tight and it creates like a really budge proof and shine proof barrier on top of the foundation and let me tell you like once you've tried this once you will never go back. Like even now 
look at how much texture that has removed. Like this side of my face in comparison to this side, there's a big difference. So I'm going to be doing this through the T-zone, just gently pushing the product into the skin, removing any shine, removing any oil, just really, it's kind of like baking, but not. When you do bake, you, you know, apply a whole stack of product and you let it sit on the skin and then you dust it off with a brush. This is more creating a barrier to really, really lock that foundation in tight. I do like to do this over my entire face, but if you want, you can primarily do this through the T-zone and then you can take a little of the product on a powder brush to finish off the rest of the face. It's really important when doing this to use patting motions and not rubbing or swiping motions. Again, it's going to cause your skin to exfoliate itself, it's going to create texture, but also it's going to budge any foundation that you might have applied down first. You know how sometimes like you put a foundation on and then you'll powder it and you'll be like, why is there redness peeking through that wasn't there before? It's because you've actually dislodged the foundation with the powder brush. If you do have any questions about either of these techniques, just make sure you pop them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Um, but yeah, like I said, once you've done this once, you'll be like, wow, life changed forever. And then after this, you're pretty much good to apply bronzer, blush, highlighter, lips, you know, whatever it is that you do next. And I'm actually going to sneak off and do that off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is a finished look. I've got the rest of my makeup on. Skin, perfect. So like I said, not only will this routine really make your skin look as perfect and flawless and smooth as possible, but it will also control shine and stay 100% budge proof all day long. You don't want to put your makeup on in the morning and then find that it's disappeared by lunchtime and just like, bye, I'm like makeup gone. Not, not okay. <laughs> you want it to actually stay put. So yes, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video today and found it helpful. Make sure that you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments, you know, what other things you want to see here on the Makeup Loft channel. I'm going to be hanging out here more frequently and I would love to know what you guys want to see. So yes, I hope you're all having an amazing day and we will catch you here very soon.